Good afternoon. I'm Brent Wilsey. With me is Chase Wilsey. We're from Wilsey Asset Management. And we'll have today's Smart Investing Daily Briefing. Well, today we're talking about holiday spending on the rides. You're thinking, oh my gosh, we just got done with summer. You're talking about holidays <laughs> already? Well, I think it's important to talk about that because for investors, you want to know ahead of time what's going on. Well, things are looking pretty good here. Uh, look at this unemployment, wage gains, cheap fuel. These are all leading to great times for this upcoming season. And look at these numbers here, 3.6 to 4% gain to top $1 trillion. I almost said on top of $1 trillion, but yeah. to top $1 trillion, which is a big number, $1 trillion in, in just holiday savings, or savings not, but spending during that time frame. And of that, uh, about, oh, 96, 97 billion, it's gonna be uh, online sales, which were up uh, 17 to 18%. So a lot of great things going on for this holiday season. People are feeling better here is what's happening. Yeah, people are feeling better. And you can see this in what's known as the savings rate. At the beginning of the year in January, the savings rate was about 6.2%. In July, it's 5.7%. I'm saying, well, why are people saving less? It's because they're spending more. They're digging their pockets, <laughs> right? <laughs> why are they spending more? Because they feel good. Consumer confidence. It's about 89.8 prelim preliminary number for September. That's up about 2.6 percentage points over last year. So people are feeling better, digging into their wallet, getting ready to go to all these great retail stores. Some of the things that might have a damper on retail holiday spending are healthcare costs. Those have been rising. And when you sign up for your new healthcare plan, guess when that is? end of the year during holiday <laughs> spending time. So you might be saying, oh man, that went up that much. Can't go out and buy yeah. an Apple iPhone. Well, actually no, make sure you buy the Apple iPhone. Yes. <laughs> but uh, another thing to think about too, the looming election could also be problematic, but that is front loaded in the first part of retail spending holiday season. That could build up pent up demand after the election. People might be saying, oh, okay, it's really not that bad. Exactly. And then go spend uh, in the back half of the holiday season. Yeah, yeah. so it's gonna be exciting. Again, $1 trillion, a lot of money. Think about those numbers. All right, so we thought we'd take a look at a great, well, maybe a great retailer here. I'm sure you know the name, Stephen Mann Limited, symbol SHOO, S-H-O-O. -O. Uh, current price, 35, the high, 39.21, and the low, 27.80. Does look like here back in 2015, well, about 43 a hit. So a lot of moving up and down there. But as always, you know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna look at those numbers to make sure the numbers make sense about Steve Madden. We do see sales looking good, up 2.2%. Earnings climbing 12.3%, it's a big positive. P ratio pretty attractive, 18.5 versus 23.9 for the industry. And price of sales, 1.5, also better than the industry average. That's what you want with your valuation ratios. I'm getting very excited about this balance sheet too. As you can see, current ratio 2.47, quick ratio 1.89. So the company has a ton of liquidity, which is great. We know they we're not worried about them not having to have the money to pay off their short-term bills. And look at this. I love when I see oh, this. Yes. How many times I like to see zero, but that's <laughs> an equity zero percent. That is a big positive. Now this is where unfortunately we're looking at it on a forward basis, December 2017, estimated earnings per share two dollars and seventeen cents. Give us a target price of thirty-five dollars and eighty-one cents. Gosh darn it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll watch it. We can have a pull. So you, yeah. you never know. So. And I mean, what I said too is you might be, you might want to go shopping for another retailer that is on sale. There we go. There we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Smart Investing Daily Briefing. If you'd like to find out how to receive a free copy of this book, one of the best investment books ever written, The Warren Buffett Way, give us a call at the office. Our phone number is eight five eight. 546-4306, or you can also contact us at our website, smartinvesting2000.com.